Vielleicht können wir jetzt da rein und uns näher, näheres Nerdles aussuchen. Oh Gott. Why would they put an empty coffin here? Maybe I just don't understand local customs. Der war doch nicht leer, du Idiot. Strange. It's as if it was still waiting for its owner. <lacht> There isn't enough light. I can't read anything. Is here not even light? No, nobody has used it for ages. He is completely cold. Yeah, then um. There isn't enough light. I can't read anything. Every detail. The gravedigger, Mr. Talbot, might have been killed by his own dog. His throat corresponds with that theory. But who killed the dog? Strange. I've never seen an empty coffin in a tomb before. Father Mulcahy might know more about that. Ja, dann gehen wir mal wieder zurück zu ihm. The damaged tomb. Does it belong to a significant family? Significant. Not significant. Rather cursed. Excuse me. What do you mean? Wie? Exactly what I am saying. The Lewis family. One of the oldest families in the whole town was once highly respected. But when Sir William was born, the last heir, it seemed God turned away from them. And if not God, the town's people certainly did. Nobody could bear to look at his lifeless face. Even yesterday, at the funeral, the coffin was kept closed during the whole ceremony. The night's events are the punishment for our weakness. That's simply the way it is. Wait a minute. I need to make this clear. The damaged tomb belongs to the deceased's family. The one whose funeral was held just yesterday. Precisely. We placed Sir William Lewis's lifeless body in his tomb in the dead of night. And this morning, that same tomb was desecrated. Father Mulcahy, can you be discreet? I am a priest. I was inside the tomb, despite your request not to. Why are you telling this to me? You will confess to God, not to me. Oh, the coffin God. is empty. <gasps> what? It's... it's not possible. Please, it's stay it's calm. Dear Lord, but that would surely mean... Are you sure you opened the coffin? No. It was open when I stepped in. But what shall we do now? For now, keep it to yourself. You can count on that. Do you realize what a scandal this is? Leave it to us. We will solve it. It's becoming pretty complicated. I have to find out as much about the deceased as I can. Strange. I've never seen an empty cop. Father Mulcahy might...
An empty coffin and murdered gravedigger with his throat torn out. There must be some logical explanation. <laughs> Sergeant, I'll need your help. I want you to prevent anybody from entering the graveyard. Of course, sir. We have a murder here. I don't want anybody to be blundering around. Wouldn't it be better if I ran to the station, sir? No, it would not. You will not move an inch from the gate. Excuse me, sir, but I think... You personally guarantee that nobody will get to the cemetery. Do you understand? As you wish, sir. You are the detective, sir. The best thing I can do is report the incident myself, and the sooner the better. At least I can try out the office telephone. So... Ah, oh, there. Once it'll be necessary to search the sewers, Sergeant Carter will finally be useful. I can't eat this an eager after tube to tube here. Briscoe. Ist sich zu fein, in den Kanal zu gehen. Was haben wir denn da? What's this? I almost overlooked it. Tito. An interesting catch. I'll make some notes. What is this then? This is not a suitable hiding place for a thief. It's right in front of the main gate and quite well lit. Whoever was waiting at the monument failed to smoke his cigarette, but he didn't fear being found. Oops. Ihr habt nichts gehört. Ähm. Ja, irgendjemand hat geraucht. It'll be difficult to find him. All that's known about him is that he smokes. Mhm. Raucht jemand von uns? War es vielleicht Brian? Raucht Timmy? Ich weiß es nicht. Necessary, when the gate is open. Ja, kann man sich ja trotzdem angucken. Vielleicht ist ja hier ein Knopf drin. Ja, dann gehen wir mal zurück. Okay. Und dann, äh, was sollen wir machen? Das melden, ne? I suppose the best thing I can do now is phone Chief Inspector Powell. <lacht> Gut. Detective Sergeant Briscoe. Put me through to Chief Inspector Powell, please. I see. And when will he return? It's urgent. All right. I'll call back later. Please tell him I called and that I'll be in the field now if he needs to talk to me. He'll know. Goodbye. He's not here. And he should be back in two hours, so what should I do now? I'm not going to waste my time. I'll search the neighborhood to try and find clues, and then we'll see. Ja, oder wir könnten eine Aufnahmepause machen. Herzlich willkommen zu Alter Ego. Als letztes haben wir ja mit jemandem hier telefoniert. Ich weiß jetzt nicht mehr, wie der Typ heißt. Aber wir haben ja ein paar Beweise gesammelt auf dem Friedhof und haben ähm, ihm über den Mord erzählt und wo läuft er jetzt hin. Ja, und jetzt vermute ich mal, dass wir weitere Beweise sammeln müssen. Wir haben ja jetzt noch diesen Safe und 
mein Gott, irgendwas mit 888, glaube ich. Mal gucken, 888. 1513, was? Ich weiß nicht. Huch. Ja, dann war das irgendwie richtig. Was haben wir hier? Eine Holzkiste. Hat kein Schloss dran. Okay. Dann wissen wir immer nicht, wozu wir diesen einen anderen Schlüssel brauchen. Haben wir denn überhaupt noch? Nö. Dann gucken wir uns mal an, was hier drin ist. A beautiful piece of manual work. So let's have a look inside. What a surprise. Eine Lupe, eine Pinzette und ähm, was ist das? So ein Pinsel für Fingerabdrücke oder was? Ja. Kann man jetzt hier irgendwas machen? Ah. A hand rolled cigarette. I don't really know much about it, but I don't think this is usual cigarette paper. I wonder what an experienced smoker would think of it. Okay. Haben wir noch was? Können wir uns die Sachen hier nochmal genau angucken? Nein. Fingerabdrücke hier auf. Nein. Gut. Ähm, ja, dann gehen wir nochmal raus. Vielleicht hat der hier noch was zu sagen. Ah. Doppelklicken ist Rennen. Gut zu wissen. Nope, der hat nichts mehr zu sagen. Dann gehen wir raus. Ein Raucher. Wer ist denn hier ein Raucher? Dann gehen wir nochmal hier hin. Ach, guck mal, wer ist das denn? I'm just asking, nothing more. And I'm repeating that it is pointless. There is nothing to see in there. Well, if there is nothing to see, why don't you allow me to go in? I have to insist that you leave. Oh, I perfectly understand. Who's your superior? You can ask at the station. Thank you very much for your helpfulness. Any troubles, Carter? Not at all, sir. Just uh, this annoying journalist. He wants you to go in. Mind he stays on this side of the wall. Should I arrest him straight away, sir? Do you have any reason to do that? I think he's suspicious, sir. How come he appeared right here? Leave it up to me. Good. Was ist das von ihm hier? Unfortunately, I have no reason to confiscate it. Ja, was hast du dazu zu sagen? Nix. Macht er immer noch die gleiche Bewegung? So the journalist has gone for a ride. And he has the camera with him by complete coincidence, I'm sure. Jupp. Hat er noch was zu sagen? Oh, hier machen wir Small Talk. How long have you been working as a police officer? Only two years, sir. But the time passes pretty fast. Yes, I've already noticed one ever gets bored in here. Well, sometimes it is exciting. The harbour attracts various shady fellows who like to cause trouble. You're probably used to more peaceful places, aren't you, sir? That's true. I served in the countryside for three years. Really, sir? I'd bite your hand off for that job, sir. Nobody could ever get me back to Plymouth. Why did you leave, sir? I'm sorry, but I'd rather keep some details for myself. At least for now. Oh, irgendwie mag ich den nicht. Keine Ahnung. Do you have any matches? Of course, sir. Do you smoke? No. Sometimes I just need to shine light on something. I have a cigarette from time to time, sir, but it's hard on the pocket. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Vielleicht können wir ihn ja fragen. Wegen dieser Zigarette. Und mit diesen Streichhölzern können wir auch super das Licht da hinten anmachen. Ja, das machen wir sofort. Äh, hier. Oder wir machen das jetzt sofort. Sergeant, ja. you told me you smoke sometimes. Yes, I'm partial to the odd smoke, sir. How much would this kind of cigarette cost? Oh, let me see. Well, 
hand-rolled. That's nothing unusual. It depends on the tobacco, you know. This one, for instance, smells very good. Why are you interested in it, sir? I found it near the column. It might have belonged to someone who knows what happened here. Really? How would you know that, sir? Because I doubt it would go unnoticed all day. And what would a typical resident of this district do if they were passing by chance and saw it lying there on the footpath? He would pick it up, sir. I see. So someone must have thrown it away tonight. Exactly. And it is more than probable that the person who threw it away knows what happened here. In that case, sir, I have such a theory, if it helps you, sir. Go ahead. No one rolls a cigarette in a hurry, sir. Uh, maybe in a pub or while one is waiting for someone, I guess it would be the latter case. It takes time to prepare the whole thing, sir. It's something like a ritual of killing time, sir. Not only time, Sergeant. Thank you for your remark. The mysterious smoker is slowly emerging. But if I really want to find him, I'll need more than one cigarette. Okay. Also, ich würde auch sagen, dass die Person hier irgendwie naja, gewartet hat oder halt Schmiere gestanden hat oder irgendwie so. I notice you are no stranger to the smoker's habits. Well, I've picked up a bit over the years, sir. But are you also familiar with cigarette papers? The cigarette won't let you rest, will it, sir? <laughs> I examined it under the magnifier, and it seems to me that the paper it is wrapped in is somewhat strange. But I might be wrong. That is why I'm asking you. Can I see it, sir? Certainly. Hmm. It is unusual. You're right, sir. One has to pay for high-quality goods. But some people are content with anything what comes into their hands. Newspapers are popular, for instance. They say it tastes better, sir, but I prefer the usual soft paper. Sorry, I can't tell what this cigarette is made of, sir. But obviously it's not newspaper. Indeed, sir. Unroll it, sir. Maybe you'll find out more then. Thank you for the advice, but that would destroy it. Maybe later. As you think, sir. Good. We have work to do, Sergeant. Someone has broken into a nobleman's family tomb. Oh, unbelievable. What are people capable of today? Tell me, has something similar happened before? I don't know about anything like that, sir. Try asking the local vicar. Yes, I was going to do that. Shall I go to the office, sir? Why? Do you think we'll need help? Well, I think we might. I'll manage, don't worry. Der will nicht, dass er abhaut, damit er hier nicht runter muss, wahrscheinlich. Ja, 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 die kleine Ratte hier. Do you know that man? I do, sir, unfortunately. Why the regret? His name is Nathaniel Forrest. He brings nothing but trouble. I don't know how it's possible, sir, but any time anything happens, he's there. He's like a pain in my neck, sir. Which newspaper does he write for? The Courier, sir. A local sheet, nothing special. He publishes a photograph, adds several pages of rubbish, and people swallow it. But in my opinion, sir, serious people never read anything like that. Okay. Then sprechen wir mal mit dem. Excuse me, are you with the press? And you with police, if I'm not mistaken. I see there is no need to pretend anything. So I suppose you will not mind several questions, will you? Of course not. What are you doing here so early in the morning? There's nothing strange about it. 
I'm working on an article about the funeral of Sir William which took place yesterday. You know, the noble man, nicknamed Mad William or something. I bet I won't be the only journalist who'll come here today, so I got up early. I suppose the family of the deceased is agreeable to that and that you have their consent? Inspector, I hope we two are not going to trespass upon each other's patch. Let me make it clear. I am no inspector, but I'm going to keep a close watch on you. You can count on that. And I'm prepared to pressure you, if it's necessary. I accept the challenge. It will be my pleasure to work with you. Not mine. Big-headed fool. Just wait, I'll show you. Haben die beiden die gleichen Stimmen? Nur ein bisschen verstellt. Okay. Also ich frage erstmal das und dann schicke ich ihn weg. Did you know Sir William personally? No, we never met, thank God. Tell me, how can you write about someone you don't know? Inspector, everyone knew Sir William because of what he did during his life. I've talked to plenty of people who ran away from the horror. Trust me, the stories were terrible. Verified by whom? The horror of those people's eyes, Inspector. It will convince you more than anything else. This is leading nowhere. A prostitute in a church would be more credible than him. Okay. I could not overlook the machine. Do you like it? It has three gears. The latest technology. I was talking about the camera you have in that bag. Oh, that thing. Fairly common type. The picture's caught on a glass plate. It can be easily broken, which is why I had to buy a better bike, to lessen the risk. And I suppose you have it on you by complete coincidence? Not at all. I came to take some pictures of a tomb. A particular tomb. You don't even have enough imagination to think up a lie. I don't want to insult your intelligence. I still hope we'll come to an agreement and you'll let me in. I can make a famous man of you. <laughs> Forget it. Pack your stuff and get away. He's, He's laughing, laughing in my, in my face. face. I've never, never seen, seen such impudence before. Ach, du willst nur ein paar Fotos machen, ey. Ach, egal. Sir, you have no business here, so please leave. Don't count on it. Have you ever seen a prison cell from the inside? I have. But don't get me wrong, it's nothing to shout about. Exactly. Is that supposed to be a threat? You can't arrest me. I'll do it. I'll complain. You can. I'm not going to leave anyway. The public has a right to know what's going on. Hmm. He, he didn't swallow, swallow the, bait. the bait. He's no amateur. Uh, okay. Leave, leave. Click doch leave on. Hello. So. Once it'll be necessary to search the sewers, Sergeant Cobb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we see an As they say, wherever the devil can't go, he sends a journalist. And then you? I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I think I can count on him. Yeah. Then give me my here.